Hi and welcome to Nerds Academy. If you watch this video, it means that you finished your prototype, you're proud of it, tested it, debugged it, and you want to make some extra boards. Using a stencil alone to apply paste to your PCB can be everything but productive, and especially if your design is not panelized. Taping the board and positioning the stencil every time can be time consuming and frustrating. So I designed this 3D printed jig to hold the board and the stencil in place allowing an easy way to run a couple of boards fast. Let's slide it in place and test it out. Let's change the board to check that the alignment is done properly and apply some solder paste. Use acrylic card to spread the paste along the stencil, tilting it to a 45 degree angle. Note, try to pass once. If you do it a second time, you will put too much space on the pad. If you missed, just repair them manually later. And bingo, looks good now. We're ready to run a couple of PCBs. One last thing when assembling the components. Don't just use your standard DGK or Mauser packaging. Print yourself a tray and prepare all you needed components. Believe me, it saves a lot of time. Now you are ready to reflow the board and spread your creativity. All files are available to download. Check links in the description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos and click on the link below to watch our previous tutorial. Thank you.